school in Mihibise, I'm a biomedical engineer and innovator in the maternity PHRA project. In Uganda, we have 336 maternal deaths per 100,000 live births currently, and uh, postpartum hemorrhage, which is one of the leading causes of maternal deaths, affects 150,000 women in the country, and eventually 3,500 women die from postpartum hemorrhage every year in our country. We designed a device that we hope will reduce on these maternal deaths. The maternal PPH device is a non-invasive pneumatic device that applies pressure externally on the uterus through the abdominal wall to stimulate the uterus walls to contract, hence stemming the bleeding. It is innovative in such a way that it is reusable, it is made from locally available materials, it is easy to use and can be manipulated by, the, by qualified clinicians with a little bit of training. The maternal PPH wrap device is better than other existing interventions for postpartum hemorrhage such, such as the uterine balloon tamponade, um, the surgical interventions in such a way that it is more affordable, it is cheaper, it can be deployed in the lowest level health facilities. It is also non-invasive, hence it reduces the, the risks of, of infection in the hospital. I'm here at the list of my names. I'm a study nurse in a pilot study for the maternal PPH wrap. We basically apply it on the mothers, the, on the mother's uterus after delivery of the placenta. The wrap hasn't replaced the, the, the usual standard of care we've been offering to these mothers, but it's like a supportive de device eh, to help us have this uterus contract. It's made in a way that we can inflate. When we inflate, the pressure is applied on the mother's uterus, and then at some point we deflate to make the mother get, get relief. And we do it for a, peri for a period of two hours as we inflate and deflate. And, um, and I think it's helping us keep this uterus contracted as we achieve hemostasis. hemostasis. For the participants we've applied this wrap on, the mothers are reporting and are giving us a positive response. And even at some point the mothers tell us that this wrap helps them like get a relief of the after labor pains for a period. We apply it on them, they, they get some relief. Um, throughout our, our project, we have also been able to develop key collaborations and partnerships. For example, with um, AHIA, which is African Advancing Healthcare Innovations in Africa by Emory University. Through that, we have been able to develop a business plan. We have been able to strategize that innovation, looking at the mass, the market, the business, the financial aspects. We have also been able to, to collaborate with um, um, Edinburgh University of Edinburgh, that's in the UK, where we've been able to write a grant, a Medical Research Council grant, MRC, and here we're looking at how we can get, how we can streamline the clinical trials aspect as well as the translation of innovations to the market, getting them market ready. Now all this has come in through experience that we have had in this journey from the beginning, the, the idea generation up to the point at which we are, and so we're looking at um, how we can get our knowledge to other innovators, how we can be able to solve the problems that we currently face as innovators in the translation, in the translation aspect. Thank you. For the pathway to scale, there are 1,800 facilities in this country that can do deliveries, which include public facilities, private not-for-profit, as well as strictly private facilities. If each of these facilities purchase at least three devices from us, at a cost of $500 per device, that will mean we shall sell 5,400 units of this device and that will generate a revenue of $2.7 million for our company. However, this will translate into the government of Uganda saving $15 million annually in treatment for postpartum hemorrhage patients.